All right. Another video for the SE300. This is how it sits currently. Girlfriend's leaving. Bye bye. Will she see me? Bye bye. Bye bye. All right. Um, this video, I need to tie up some of the small stuff for the manual swap. What I mean by this is that there's two main issues that are important in my uh, opinion. One is that the reverse lights do not work when I put it in reverse. And two, when I am done driving it on a hot day, uh, it's really stinky in the car. So let me just back it up in here real quick. Apologize for the mess. Hopefully you guys can see what's happening. All right. Uh, so for the first thing, hopefully you guys can see this on camera. Let me start real quick. Currently, there's no cover for the hole. And on a hot day, it comes through all these cracks and it stinks and it makes this uh, part of the car really hot. I have two main options with that. Let me get to that after I park the car. You see it's bad? This is really bad. Gotta do a 30 point turn. All right, now I got space to work. I stole my mom's space. So the transmission switch for reverse is on this side. So I believe it is a smart idea to lift up this side, crawl under, mess with the transmission, uh, automatic harness on this right here. So let me show you where it's hooked up. I'll just take care of a couple options or things I need to do. So right now, the plugs are right there. And I believe you need to wire in red and yellow to that switch. If I remember where I put it, it should be in this blue bag right here. Nope, not this blue bag. It should be in this box. So where is this? Yeah. Right here. So this little thing is for the reverse lights. I don't remember where I got it, but I will provide a link to it in the description. It's like 10 bucks. Lift up the car right now. A little chalk, a little chalk so I don't die. So I can actually upload this video. I get a big chunk of wood put it up there's the shifter boot on the that I ordered for this video this one's good that was too big never mind this one Ugh. is that my rear main seal leaking brother Ugh. make sure it's gone this side mm-hmm no. Oh yeah, here's a, I'll put it under here. <laughs> Where do I put it under, guys? I'm not trying to put it right in the middle because I'm working near there. Okay, so it says yellow to red and black. I don't think it's that, but just to check one more time. Right now I'm distracted. Now I'm checking to see if I ever smack the transmission on the floor. Looks like I do like a tiny bit, but like that's straight fresh oil, dude. It doesn't smell like tranny oil. All right, more research. Ooh, wheels. Reverse lights manual swap. See, this is the picture for 92 to 96, I believe. Red and yellow for reverse lights, and it should be these two black ones for our neutral safety switch. Hmm. Okay, so two pink wires in the same SC plug as NSSS, NSS. So two pinks 
from the same plug that we use for neutral state switch for reverse lights. At this point, let's see. Two pinks. Is that pink? Okay, there are not two pinks. And I forget the comment about the two black ones for the neutral safety switch. Just think of it as these two big bulbs or bulges for your fuse to stick in. Because if you stick a fuse in here and start it, then it's your neutral safety, it's your neutral safety switch. But the two pink ones, these are yellow and it's a light pink one. Huh. Oops, I just ripped booty cheeks. Um, reverse blue. Time to check for a thousandth time. Blue, I see blue and yellow. Okay, I see a blue. Blue, there's a full blue one. There's a blue and yellow one. So is it a blue and yellow? I could just get to cutting all of it, but that's cutting better. Okay, this is this is the thing I was looking for. According to Max comment that I read a couple weeks ago, this plug should be in the same orientation no matter the color. So if we can like that, then if we just cut some wire, and shove it in there, it should just light up. Top right, this one, and bottom left in the middle, which is this one. Let's see. Oh look, reverse is lit up. So does that mean my lights are lit up? Let's see. So hopefully I explained that somewhat decent. All right, almost got it. Like this. Set this over. Set this over. And I'll cut this again. Can we see it that well? But this yellow wire, and then it should be this blue wire right here. Boom. Pull it back a little bit. Cut these two, and then boom. Oh my god. A big forehead touching on everything. Okay, so on. Okay. I'll do like this. I think I'm trying to do too much. I'll just keep it like this. Sneak it in. Couple zip ties. Oh, give me that one. That one counts. Alright, that's in. That is a bad cramp. And I know it. Okay. Now I gotta redo it. See, these crimps suck. Alright. It's all put away. That was a pain in the butt. One last time. Check to see the reverse works. Lights on, so it's probably working. Yep, it's working. And then now to start it, but make sure to take it out before it launches this car to the ocean. All right, it works. And now that I really want to go drifting, I don't know if I really want to take out that transmission just to replace the rear main seal because I replaced it when I first manual swapped it, but I guess I didn't do a good job. Now I am facing the consequences. I guess what I could check right now is just put my hand behind the head. Yeah, there is oil leaking on the back of the head. So it's probably the, you know, the valve cover gaskets and or the little moon, the half moon seals. So when I first manual swapped this car, I had to cut a hole for the serial nine shifter to fit through the trans tunnel. The hole I cut, it was a little big, so I had to make a plate to cover it back up. After driving this on hot days, the smoke from the car sits at the highest point in the trans tunnel, which ends up just seeping through these holes and ends up being in the cabin. I bought a bunch of the shifter boots off of Amazon to see which one would fit. 
this one was way too big but this one was a perfect fit now drift motion does sell a shift boot for the sc300 but the way that that boot is designed doesn't really fit with this well because the bottom of it is too tight for it to fit around this black triangle and the top hole for the shifter rod to go through is way too open it's not a tight seal this uh, amazon one fit a lot better so it's, the boot is pretty hot not pretty hot it's warm it's warm Oh, you do see the smoke coming through still. I don't know if I can get on camera. Oh, you're right there, you see it. Normally, when I drive this mount, a lot would be coming through right now, especially on a hot day like this. It's like 80 degrees out right now. And it's blocking out a lot of it, so I'm happy with it. Yeah. Yeah. So everything's put back together. One thing I would like to do before I end off this video is to clean the dash, clean up the car a little bit. And to get rid of the stupid airbag light because of the, or the seatbelt light for the, the bucket seat. Uh, there's a forum on this and since mine is a 97 plus SC300, the black and yellow to black and white. I'm doing black and yellow, why is it not working? Wrong one. Well, let me just see what color the wires are on here. Amazing, they're just black and black. Same situation with the reverse lights. It doesn't matter the colors of the wires, it matters the orientation. So there's this bottom two on the left with the clip on top. I don't know, like one of these ones. Oh, yep. Now lights off. Boom. And we never touch this again. This, this dust is probably all from um, me having no shifter boot. But yeah, guys. There's nothing too crazy of an episode. It's really just me making it more dailyable. I mean, it's totally fine as it is. Just some things that annoy me. The next thing I do want to do is that, you guys remember that speaker I installed for the fronts and the rears? Well, when I bought the component speakers for this, it really washes out some of the sound. I have my words mixed up. It's right now it's a coaxial from front and rear. And I want to get a component for the front because I need to move the speaker tweeter from here to here. So it doesn't wash out all the high frequency from voices. I hope this uh, episode was more useful. It's one of my useful ones for you guys. But I'm sure some of you guys are wanting to manual swap your cars and are wondering all the small things like, you know, check engine light, reverse lights, um, I don't know, covering up the hole, how to install the clutch. If you just watch my previous videos, then you'll get a gist of how everything was done. Hope that you guys found the video interesting and helpful to watch, but I will see you guys in the next video.